All right, hey guys, this is Nate, and this is the Nader Tater channel. I have the Verizon 4G LTE gateway here, and obviously it has no um, external antennas that you can see, nor does it have any ports for them. Now, I've covered a little bit about setting this up and using it, and um, you know, I actually do have a couple places in my house where I don't get enough signal to reach the maximum throughput that this device is at now. It is capped, so they do limit your um, download to about 50 megabits per second and upload to about six megabits per second. But if you don't have enough signal to get that, um, then you might be thinking, can I add an external antenna? And so I've had this T-Mobile home internet uh, for over a year, and I've taken that one apart and I've um, found out the ports in there. I've done a video about how you can add external antennas to that one. So naturally I want to see what we can do with this guy. So one thing I, I'll say I don't feel as bad about is I had to buy this. This thing is $240 and they do have a promo where I'm getting that credit back in $10 a month, uh, monthly credits for 24 months. So if I keep the service for two years, I actually don't have to pay anything for it. But uh, this is mine, whereas Technically, the T-Mobile one is T-Mobile's, and um, you take a little bit of risk by uh, by messing with it. With this one, uh, it is your device. So anyways, let's take it apart and look and see what's in there now. The only tool I plan to use is a Swiss Army knife. Um, and so let's see um, how it goes. All right, so this box here um, at first doesn't have any obvious places to um, put a screw. Um, driver or or whatnot on there and at first I thought you pry along this bottom edge to take this perimeter off but you actually pry um, on the top side this is a rubber piece that you can pry up down here and there is a little bit of a secret down here that we can look at this guy's just rubber and um, it has a USB port down there and then it has a little tiny Torx and that Torx has the SIM card underneath it. So, um, and then it has a little um, red and white um, sticker there that's designed to tell if it's ever gotten wet, you know, so you'll see that in some um, cell phones as well. But here on the top, this top piece is snapped in and I found a couple corners that were just barely sticking out um, that I was able to get this screwdriver down here and then I just popped it out. So that is how I got it started. You can see that there's a little um, leg on each side that snaps in there. So now I'm just going to work my way across here. Once you get the first corner going, it comes up pretty easy. The most important thing is just get both sides of that one corner out and then it comes apart fairly easily, really. All right. So now we have this guy and kind of the exciting part is the first thing I see is an antenna and one of those little um, U.FL connectors, which is very similar to that uh, T-Mobile one. Um, and this one here we can see is Bluetooth and GPS. So that's obviously not for the cellular, um, but that's a sign that got me pretty excited that maybe we'll have more of those connectors. So the next step to take it apart is actually underneath these guys. These are little stickers and I think they're made really just to um, make it so that the screw head is kind of hidden. So I'm going to take care of these guys because I want to put them back on. All right. So let's switch to the Phillips here. So now 
this whole white thing just slides up and off. That's your outer case, and I'm getting a little bit stuck here. Let's see. Okay, so I can see like a little. Okay, so what's happening for me is this, yeah, this black piece of tape here is, is actually catching on the button on the um, the inside. So I'm gonna use my knife to uh, get that out of the way so I can pull it out there. Caught it again. So that might not happen to everyone, um, but basically it was just catching on this piece here. Not really supposed to, supposed to be um, taped down. All right, so we can see Wi-Fi antenna, and then finally I can start to see some uh, 5G you know, on here, so that's a cellular antenna. We have some other Wi-Fi's, and then Another Wi-Fi, another Wi-Fi, another Wi-Fi. This is what happens when you have multiple uh, channels out there. And uh, I don't know if this has beam forming and other things like that as well. So, all right, and here's another um, cellular one here. And so this guy can now come apart as well. Okay, so I can unscrew this and pop it off and then I can uh, pop these tabs and these two halves separate out this way. And I can see in there right now that, let me get something where I can actually point it to you, hopefully show it to you guys. I can see some more of those UFL connectors, but if I trace the wires, they go to the Wi-Fi ones. And all of these connectors go to Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth GPS. None of the um, cellular ones have those connectors. So um, another interesting thing before I, I go to the next part is there's actually a cooling fan down in there. I'm, I'm sure I'm not going to be able to get it um, to show you in the camera because the light has to be just right. But there's actually a cooling fan right here. Um, in there that turns on and that's something you know we've added on the t-mobile one is a um is a cooling fan now this one's a small one looks like it's maybe like it's actually probably like a 60 millimeter fan i have to look at that okay but what i can see is these antennas for cellular these are the connectors on the boards and they are like a little contact um I guess I, I don't know what, what they're called, but basically when these two parts get squished together, this just clips on there. So there's three of these brass um, tabs and they just touch onto the, the board there and kind of snap in. So that's not a connector that I'm aware of that you can purchase or get um, anywhere. So that means I don't see an easy way to add the antenna. Now I'm sure you could solder some wires to this and uh, you can make it work like that, but there's not something that you could do that was 100% uh, reversible, like a little U.FL connector. So basically, I don't need to take it apart any further. I um, I did get some pictures from the FCC document that they filed that showed this taken apart more. So I kind of knew what I was getting into when when I came in here. I wanted to check on it and confirm and those pictures are representative of what I'm seeing here. So that tells me that um, I'm a little bit hosed and I guarantee you they must have done this on purpose because you can see for every other one of their connectors is these little U.FL. So <laughs> it's not like they don't uh, have them in stock or can't use them or whatnot. They just opted to to use something that was not as easy to modify by the user, I think. And 
That's where I don't think these telecom companies really want us messing with these devices. That's why they really limit what the device's options are, which ones you can get. And um, I understand why, but it's a little bit uh, disappointing when you just need a better signal. Okay, well, that's about all there is to this Verizon 4G one. You know, there are options out there. I guess that you, like I said, you could solder something on. Otherwise, it's really not um, probably worth it on this one to do it. You're probably better off if you're really that desperate of getting your own um, 4G LTE modem that works and plopping the SIM card over to that with the IMEI change in that other device to, to probably get you the, the most options out there that you can get. Now, on the 5G version, which I have right over here still, on this 5G version, I decided not to take it apart. And the reason I decided not to take it apart is if this doesn't get you the signal that you can get and you are in one of the uh, 5G ultra wideband areas that Verizon offers, they will actually offer a professional install that they come out and install a external mounted antenna at your house or apartment and then give you a different gateway for inside. And so because they offer that service, I would say I don't see why you would um, mess with fiddling a, your own external antenna because Verizon will give you one of their certified ones and there might be a hundred dollar or something install fee, but that's way cheaper than you could buy uh, the stuff for anyways. So for the 5G one, I wouldn't worry about it. And for the 4G one, you really can't do it. So uh, Verizon has you a little bit here with this device that uh, you're kind of limited. So I hope you enjoyed this. Obviously, if you like this content that I'm doing, subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, share the video. That helps get it out there and helps uh, get me more popular, which, uh, which helps bring more content to you guys. If you have any questions about what I did here or uh, other um, things about Verizon or other fixed wireless stuff or anything else on my channel, put a comment down below and I will try to get back to it and uh, respond. So thank you.